testicular pain is a bothering issue for many people testic whenever there is testicular pain they feel ashamed to discuss with others sometimes they can't go to doctors and even if they go to doctors they can't tell, tell you directly and sometimes they can't uh, they can't run they can't walk they can't do exercise and sometimes it takes out their confidence even to run for so small distance or even to do regular exercise the fear of pain itself will prevent them to do that exercise there are so many people with testicular pain who have stopped their uh, regular work or uh, resigned their jobs sitting at home only because of this testicular pain so it's a bothering issue for many people and they can't tell it to their family and friends also so when there is testicular pain there is nothing to ashamed feel ashamed it's very simple issue it this is like any other sim, simple infection what you have to understand is okay when there is testicular pain try to take a uh, few doses of antibiotics and uh, painkillers if it goes away with basic antibiotics then that means it's a minor infection it's done you don't have to consult any doctor uh are specialist for this but in spite of taking medications if there is persistent pain then you have to consult a doctor it's a chronic issue it can be uh the reasons for testicular pain are chronic infection in the sperm tube we call it as epididymitis or chronic epididymitis and it can be infection in the testis itself which can be called as architis and infection in the prostate which is called chronic prostatitis or infection in the semen reservoir which is called seminal vesiculitis sometimes pain in the bladder uh, and uh, sometimes infection can be in the bladder which is called cystitis all these are connected through a small network so wherever there is pain infection this infection can come to testis and can cause testicular pain so if testicular pain is there since many days or months or years then it has to be taken seriously this can affect your fertility particularly for people who are unmarried uh, who are actually planning for marriage so these people it's dangerous because most of the people they think that it's a minor problem and the effect of this is seen after their marriage when they try for pregnancy so testicular pain any long term testicular pain should not be neglected because it can affect their future uh, natural pregnancy chances so this has to be identified and treated and uh, this can only not only fertility chronic testicular pain if it is because of seminal vesiculitis that can cause premature ejaculation also so now these uh symptoms may not be present in everybody but slowly one by one they'll uh, come into the uh, limelight initially it can start with testicular pain later uh, it can go to perineum we call it as perineal pain later it can cause pain in the penis premature ejaculation in the end it can cause erectile dysfunction also these are all interconnected so this should not be neglected and one point during the treatment of uh, testicular pain which is important very important particularly for unmarried males or people who are uh, who who have not completed their family high dose antibiotic should be avoided they are actually contraindicated in treating testicular pain because of all these high dose antibiotics can suppress sperm production so the main idea of treating testicular pain should be long term low dose antibiotics even if it goes for months or weeks you just have to follow that initially you should have patience uh, uh, till the patient pain comes down you should not be in hurry and you should not take high dose antibiotics sometimes people take steroid uh, medications to decrease the pain immediately that should not be done so long term low dose antibiotics 
long term anti inflammatory medications is the ideal way of treating this uh, testicular pain. But if pain continues in spite of taking these medications, then there are still treatment options. If it is prostatitis, low intensity shockwave therapy works well for prostatitis. It should not be given directly to the testis, it should be given only to the prostate. And if pain continues, sometimes this can be because of nerve irritation, uh, which is damaged, where the nerve is damaged because of the chronic infection. Sometimes a small surgery called denervation, spermatic cord denervation, which is a simple daycare surgery, this can help in relieving your testicular pain. So, so don't neglect testicular pain in early days.